Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to apply the HTrust and VTrust arguments of the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and two columns, which are called X and Y, and both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if you want to draw a plot of these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines eight to 11. So in these lines of code, I'm using the ggplot function and the geompoint function to draw a scatter plot. And then I'm adding on top of this scatter plot a title, which is shown in the color red. So if you run lines eight to 11 of the code, a new plot object is created at the top right of our studio, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot. And on top of this plot, you can see our title, which is shown in red. Now let's assume that we want to adjust the position where this title is shown. Then we can apply the HTrust and VTrust arguments, as I'm going to show you in the following examples of this video. Please note that in this tutorial, I'm using the HTrust and VTrust arguments to modify the position of our plot title. However, you can also use these arguments to change the positions of other elements in a ggplot2 plot as well. However, in the first example of this tutorial that you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code, I want to show you how to apply the HTrust argument. And in this case, I'm using the HTrust argument to move our plot title to the middle of the plot. Note that the HTrust argument is used to move the positions of text elements horizontally, and the VTrust argument is used to move the position of text elements vertically. So in this case, I'm specifying the value 0.5 to the HTrust argument. And if you run lines 14 and 15 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And now our plot title is shown at the middle of the plot. In the next example, I'm basically applying the same code as before. However, this time I'm specifying the value 1 to the HTrust argument. And if you run these lines of code, you can see that now our plot title is aligned to the right side of the plot. So this also illustrates the range of values that you can apply to the HTrust argument, because if you apply the value zero to the HTrust argument, the title is left aligned. If you use the value 0.5, the title is centered. And if you use the value one, the title is shown on the right side of the plot. In the next example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to apply the VTrust argument. And we can apply the VTrust argument basically in the same way as we already did in the previous examples. However, this time we are specifying VTrust instead of HTrust. And in this case, we are setting our VTrust argument to minus 20, which will move the title to a lower position in our plot. So if you run lines 20 and 21 of the code, you can see that our plot title is moved to a lower position. So in this case, the title is even shown within the plotting area. So in this video, I have explained how to apply the HTrust and VTrust arguments of the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.